sitting there back where you belong Seasons change but you stand strong You feed the flame, you keep life on Nityananda, Nityananda, Nityananda Nityanam guys, welcome you back Welcome you with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam Today, another part of the song that I released recently, check it out, Living Flame, remix from Circles, from Post Malone. And uh, it will be in the description below and it will be also on the channel, so have a look. Uh, it's a nice song, very happy. It's the first time actually that I am end-to-end -end taking the song. So I wrote the lyrics, I sang, I recorded, I learned uh, music production, that means mixing and mastering. And that's the first time I'm actually releasing a song completely end to end. So that's great. I'm very, it's a very fulfilling experience. Of course, there were a lot of, you know, kind of obstacles as you go because mixing and mastering is not easy. But you know, you have with the will persistence, you keep on going and you just allow that um, these obstacles to just uh, vanish in front of your will persistence. So made it happen, very happy, very grateful. And I'm sharing this with you guys. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a little bit of the, what I personal experience, I guess, with the lyrics of the, the chorus. You sitting there, are you sitting there back where you belong? Um, I had actually, one time during my inner awakening, I did Pratikshapada Puja, and that is offering Puja, the, the worshipping of the feet of the master physically in his presence uh, next to him. So we were on stage and the Pada Puja was being conducted and we were offering. And during this Pada Puja, I had a very amazing, I mean, it was very emotional for some reason. I felt very touched and like, a, I guess, just like a tears of yearning being fulfilled. That kind of tears I had throughout the Puja. And um, I had this beautiful suddenly kind of vision or visualization which came and I saw how Swamiji, in the, in the Pada Puja, you offered a seat to the Guru. And when it came to offering the seat, suddenly I saw how like the, the throne that resides in the heart, in the, in the womb of the inner space or the inner space was just there. And I saw Swamiji just coming and sitting on the throne, um, which, is, which is the, you know, the representation of the self, of the pure uh, enlightenment or uh, Paramashiva or the, yeah, Paramashiva. So I had this beautiful experience, so deep and so um, it connected me so much from an emotional level and uh, from many, many levels actually. And it was a very strong experience. So in that song, that's what I was sharing. You say you're sitting there back where you belong. You belong on that throne and you're going back and you're sitting there. And on that throne, you keep life on. Um, you're uh, keeping the, let's see the, like I shared in another video, the Guru is responsible to keeping the seeking alive and the gratitude alive. As long as the seeking and the gratitude is kept alive, you will always radiate the highest frequencies. So remembering to be constantly in a space of seeking and gratitude is, uh, is most important. So that is what I was sharing in this uh, beginning of the chorus of the song. It was more about this experience of how um, the Guru-Disciple relationship allows this kind of sacredness to happen in your life. And it, it, that sacredness is very much important in order to um, intensify our seeking and you constantly fall back into a space of gratitude for the Master, for the Guru and everything that he has done for us in our life. So yes, that is the powerful cognition I want to share with you today. A Guru-Disciple relationship, most sacred relationship. Don't miss it, don't abuse it, and with this, Nityanandam. Be blissful. Yes, guys. See you guys next video.